Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and we've got not just one, but two humble bundles of interest to game developers. The first one is for Unreal Engine users, it's a set of environments. The second one is for Unity developers. I will cover it second, because quite frankly, I think the Unreal Engine one is by far the most interesting. This is, again, a set of environments, also some soundtrack and sound effects stuff in here as well, but mostly it's all about the environments. This one you see here, we are in a post-apocalyptic bar, but we can just go on and head on outside. And what I really like about this, first off, is Unreal Engine makes it very easy to export it out and use it in other game engines. So even if you're using uh, Godot or Flax or another game engine of some kind, you can actually get assets exported out of here. I've got documentation and guides on how to do it down below, but you get an idea of what this thing is uh, basically built out of. So it's sort of like Junk Town, I think it was called, from Fallout 4. Again, you got different environments. You got all the props that go together to create these things. And then if we head on over here, we even got like a garage with a blueprinted uh, scooter of some kind, a variety of different computer setups, and so on. So this is one of the assets here. I'm going to take a look at a couple of the assets hands-on, but first let's head on over, check out the bundle quickly. So it is the Unreal Environment Mega Bundle. This one redeems on the Epic Game Store, one key at a time, sadly, so you're going to have to redeem uh, some of these items. Now, do keep in mind, there's some other things here, uh, soundtracks, etc. Uh, like this one, the music, uh, these guys right here, they're uh, redeemed and downloaded directly from Humble itself. If you don't know how this works, Humble bundles a collection of stuff organized into tiers. You buy a hard value tier, you get all the stuff below it. So, for example, at the $1 tier, you're getting the castle kit. Uh, jumping up from there to the median price, you're also getting medieval houses and stylized village, as well as medieval weapons. And then we go up from there, you're getting medieval village, stylized nature, the destroyed buildings, the abandoned factory, the modular dungeon, in the post-apocalyptic modular town, which I believe is what we just looked at, the dragon temple, the medieval town, the desert town, uh, medieval houses, wooden buildings, uh, and so on. So you're getting a, a ton of environments in this. And again, I will show you a couple more of these hands-on. And then before I get into that, there's also this bundle. This is a Unity bundle actually launched like a day ago. I didn't cover it because I knew this bundle was going to be coming out. I figured I would get like a twofer and cover them both at once. I don't know why you're expanding down that way. So let's go ahead and expand it out that way. So this is the Epic Game Worlds in Unity bundle. It's not amazing, to be honest. And it's also a very short run. So it's only going to be a seven-day bundle. Uh, what you're going to notice here is basically a collection of uh, assets from the uh, Unity Asset Store. You can redeem them directly on the Unity Asset Store. Uh, so you're going to notice, again, organized into tiers. You're getting uh, a lot of these. We've actually had Pure Nature Meadows and Nature Renderer 2022 in previous stuff. And the rest of it isn't really blowing me away. This one's kind of neat, I suppose. Uh, a music bundle here, some low-poly nature stuff. And the one thing I really want to point out to you is if you're interested in this ultimate seating controller, this one came up on the Game From Scratch Discord, uh, this actually extends the ultimate character controller. So if you do not already have the ultimate character controller volume three, this particular asset is useless to you. So I, I really hate that that was put in here. It really shouldn't be done that way. So this is the other bundle, the Epic uh, Game Worlds in Unity bundle, but I'm going to focus again back on this one. So that's the, uh, what do they call it? The Unreal Environment Mega Bundle. Again, also being mostly static environments, these are pretty easily exported out to other game engines. Check the documentation down below on how to do that. So let's head on back over here and we will take a look at a couple of the other ones here I've already got loaded up. So here, let's go. The Abandoned Buildings one, uh, Maps right here. And this is an abandoned factory. All right. So we'll give it a sec to load. Really quite straightforward. Let's go into pretty mode. So it's a, it's an environment. It's a factory environment with various different things that you would use in a factory, as well as a, a pentagram on the wall, because that's something. I guess it's abandoned. That's what people do. Uh, so this one is a pretty simple asset on the whole. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and check out the castle in city environment. So let's load that guy up. And this one is a modular castle. Everything you see to create this setting right here. Go ahead and just take a quick browse through it. So if you need a entire castle, uh, everything here, go together to create it. Again, very modular in nature. So let's go ahead, check out the showcase. You'll get an idea of the, the bits and pieces go together to create this castle. It's it's pretty a straightforward asset uh, for the most part. So a variety of different things, some, some trees and buildings. Again, they all to go together to create what kind of castle you want, which actually works out kind of handy if you're working on something a bit more procedural in nature. Uh, this one is uh, Destructed Buildings, so again, if you got like uh, a war setting or something, uh, it is a kit for creating uh, a destructible environments. So let's go ahead, we'll get rid of our, our warnings here. And what you see here, let's go ahead and take a look at our environment. So what you see here, again, all the stuff you need to create uh, 
an environment setting like this. So debris and rubble, and then different destroyed walls, different texture sets. So you can make a variety of destroyed buildings. Again, you got all the various different cutouts and pieces, so you can make this however you wish. Everything here is pretty much modular in nature. So again, same with the debris down here. You kind of just paint the world together as a result, so you can create whatever kind of environment you need. Again, everything here is a module that you can then for use. Next, we have a much moodier environment here. We've got uh, a very angsty looking angel that happens to be quite on fire going on here. Uh, and this is uh, Dark Cellars or something to that effect. Uh, another one of the environments here. Again, everything here is modular in nature. So if you need to mix and match these, let's go ahead and check out the showcase level on this one. So if you need to mix and match these, all of the various different pieces can be dropped in. So if you want an angel, you can bring an angel in and add some flames to him. All the effects are there. And then all of the wall and pieces and such and the chains and sconces and um, various different bits of bodies that are normally adorning your typical temple are here as well. So again, you can use all this. So this could obviously be mixed with the, the medieval temple environment uh, quite easily to create something earlier. We saw Junker Town first, and then we got two stylized bundles here. This one is a medieval town. Let's just load that one up quickly. So this one is, uh, again, a bit more of stylized art style. Let me just let that load in quick. And here we go. I wouldn't say overly stylized. I guess it's a, a little bit on the cartoony side, but not really. Like It's not like painterly style. But again, everything you see here uh, is available. And I'm gonna actually showcase something really easily or really quickly here about how you can get stuff out of here. So for example, let's say I wanted this fountain. I could take this fountain out of here, basically just right click the asset and then browse to it. You will find your fountain over here, right click that guy. And then what you gotta do is asset, X, uh, asset actions, and then you can do an export. Uh, and then what we do here is pick your project. So I'm gonna go straight to Godot here, pick as a GLB and create it as a fountain, pick the resolution we wish to bake the textures at and go ahead and export it out. So that's how easy it is. I believe you can also do a multi-select. So if you wanna bring out multiple items, you can do it that way. So I can do export or a bulk export there. You can also do an entire level, although you tend to get a lot more breakages when you do something like that. And then let's just head on over to Godot very quickly. You're gonna notice it automatically detected those two GLB files or the one GLB file we just brought over that fountain there. Our fountain is ready to go in in our world. So if you want to use these in other engines, super, super easy, by the way. So that is the uh, stylized medieval town. And then the last thing we're going to showcase here today is the stylized medieval island, uh, sort of stylized island, not medieval, I guess just island in general. And we will open that guy up quickly. By the way, there are some uh, read means about how to set things up sometimes. So do be sure to check those out. And let's just open that one up. So that read me is just telling me to... Uh, um, uh, that it's using the, the world browser thing. So if you want to see it, you basically have to select it over here, right click and say load region from selection. So you can see this is, uh, again, this is much more stylized, I would say, but you can see here um, a more tropical, fantastical, mushroomy kingdom, higher saturation for sure. Uh, so this one, the art style doesn't mesh nearly as well with the other assets in this one, but uh, you get an idea of what it's all about. I'm also going to show you one other quick trick that's kind of neat. Sometimes when you're dealing with, if you want to get something out of Unreal Engine and it's a blueprint, you can actually grab it. You'll see it's a blueprint, so you can't export it out. But what you can do is go up to Tools, and then you can go ahead and say Merge Actors. And then I'll say, pick all the things that are part of that blueprint. You got settings that you control. I'm just going to go to the default. So we'll merge the actors. We'll do this at our root directory here. All right, so, and done. So now if I go here to my root directory, I will have all of that stuff merged out. And then what I could do is the exact same thing we just did before. So again, asset export. So this is when you're dealing with a blueprint as an example, instead of a, um, a single static mesh. So a blueprint exported out. You can notice this blueprint is composed of a number of different models. That should theoretically be done, importing in over here. Dun, dun, dun. And there we go. So now I'm going to find it right here. I think it's this guy right there. And then what you'll notice is everything came across, all of our fruits and vegetables and so on. So if you're dealing with blueprints, what you're gonna to wanna to do is merge them before the export and it'll just work. Although the entire export, so if you do a full level export right here, I think it will do all the merging for you. It's just something you're aware of. Uh, but getting things out of Unreal Engine and into other engines, it's it's probably the best game engine out there for that. But do check the article down below. So that's it for the hands-on portion. And once again, everything here is modular so you can mix and match. So stylized island, uh, let's go to the scene and we'll look at the overview scene here. So. And then you'll get an idea of the type of contents that were actually in this particular environment. And there we go. So you see 
all the various different pieces to go together, and then you can build whatever kind of buildings you wish to have out of it, or if you want to have like a world generation or whatever, you can do that as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The Unreal Engine uh, Environment Mega Bundle, a collection of really cool things here. So again, we got the Stylized Nature Medieval Village, Destroyed Buildings, Abandoned Factory, Modular Dungeon. Uh, we saw almost all that we think. We saw pretty much every one of those in, in this demo here. And then we got a couple more. We saw the Medieval Town. There's also a Desert Town. There's a bunch of buildings you could bring in. Obviously, you can mix and match with these with the other stuff. And then we got these sound effect packs and music packs. These are directly downloaded from uh, the Humble site, whereas the rest of these are all redemption keys available on the um, uh, the Epic Game Store. Uh, by the way, you are going to need to use Unreal Engine if you want to export these out to use in another game engine or if you want to bring them into Blender or whatever. And then the other bundle, of course, was the Epic Game World in Unity bundle. Uh, not really my favorite. Why I didn't really cover it. It's, pretty, it's a pretty meh bundle. I didn't not cover it because it's a Unity bundle. I didn't uh, cover it because I knew this bundle was coming up and that this one didn't blow me away. Just one thing to be aware of, once again, is if this is the one that you were looking for the most, you do need to have that ultimate character controller installed. That's a really, I think it was an oversight by Humble. They probably didn't realize that, but that's pretty crappy, and hopefully they don't do that again in the future. But uh, yeah, that's it. So today's two Humble bundles. Uh, this one is definitely very, very nice. This one is a decent pickup. If you're wanting to get like a single one of these items here and you don't already have it, it obviously you're just going to get a bunch of other stuff for free as a result. So, uh, and it's also a cheap bundle. It's only 15 bucks, whereas the top tier of this one is uh, what $25. But uh, those are today's bundles. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.